bonus game of the week. And here is the Colts and the Expos who start off the game with a two-run homer by Jeff Mazzacotti. Big hit from Jeff. Trots around the bases. Had a pretty good pimp job on that too. So it's 2-0 Expos early on. On the mound for the Colts is Nick Savali, and he'll strike out Jack Rich, then get Will Kizwanos to ground out into a double play, and he gets out of the first inning. Charlie Hesseltine on the mound for the Expos, and Charlie was dealing and throwing gas. We haven't seen Charlie throw this well in many games. Good play there by Sebi Grignano of the Expos, and then I strike out. Johnny Walter to short, and two quick innings in the books. Hesseltine, he had about 13 Ks in this game. Gets Goldman and Fusco. Carson Kuhn steps up and hits a double to right field down the line. The Expos bench notoriously loud as usual. Crignano squares to bunt and it's a wild pitch as the runner moves up to third base. But then Savali gets the strikeout. And then Goldman almost gets the runner going to second base, but he's called safe. Big time web gem from Nick Savali right there. That's about as hard as you can lay out as a pitcher. Kizwanos grounds out to end the inning. Savali gets out of a big jam there. So here's the first hit for the Colts by Chris Boudreau. Boudreau drops in in the center field. Then he steals two bases. And then he gets uh, errant throw from the catcher Hendrickson and scores. So it's 2-1 Expos. Base hit by the Expos. It's first and second base. When Savali is able to K Greg Nano and get out of it. Steve Hicks hitting seventh in the order, grounds out to Jason Sullivan. Good play by Sullivan. But Charlie had Matt Goldman's number all night. Savali shows his vertical there and makes a great play, but Jack Rich beats it out for an infield single. Jason Sullivan at the plate, and he grounds it out to Savali, who decides to go to third to get the lead runner. So Savali's able to get out of it with a bunch of ground balls, and he gets Will Kizwanos to ground into another double play. A nice change of camera angles as Tyreek Robinson walks. Chris Anselmo gets challenged by Charlie Hesseltine, and Charlie wins the battle. Boudreaux grounds out to... Gonzalez, who gets a fielder's choice. Boudreaux beats it out. Then Allen comes up and grounds another one to Sullivan, but Sullivan throws it away. And Fusco scores. Boudreaux moves to third base. So it's 2-2, two two going into the bottom of the six. And Zach Corrado is on the mound for the Colts. Gets a K. Then Hendrickson puts a charge into this one. But Chris Anselmo in left field makes a great catch. Had to rotate his body the other way. Carson Kuhn with another base hit. Then Sebi Grignano hits a ball off the hands and drops one in the left field, scoring two runs. Four to two Expos. That was a huge hit, as it would be the game winner. Corrado does get out of it, and here comes yours truly, league secretary, to the plate. And I hit a home run off Charlie. 
Hesseltine, who had a great game. He went for the complete game, got the win, all seven innings. Next to the plate is Stephen Hicks. Gets a walk, so the culture threatening in the final stages here. But Goldman unable to find Charlie this game, and Fusco will pop up here to make two outs in the top of the seventh. And then Tyreek Robinson strikes out on a questionable call. And the Record Journal Expos win four to three. 